Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saif Kudmin Khanizada with another tutorial on Kirio Control UTM configuration series. In this video, I will be discussing on DHCP server under the configuration menu. Let's start. First of all, open your laptop's web browser. Log in to the Kirio Control administration panel and select DHCP server from configuration menu. By default, Kirio Control will generate an scope and DHCP server will be enabled. If you want to see the list of clients and the IP leases and reservation, click on the scope. Here you can see that only one device is assigned an IP by the DHCP server. If you want to generate a scope manually, click here. Here it says that you are switching to the manual mode of DHCP configuration. That's OK. Click the Yes button. Now you can edit the scope. Select the scope and click on the Edit button. You can provide a name for this scope in here. You can also change the IP address range. For example, I will be using the class C IP address. Here you should type the first IP address and here you should type the last IP address. Here you can change the subnet mask. If you change the scope, you have to change the default gateway and the DNS server too. Click on the default gateway and click on the edit button. To edit the DNS server, select the DNS server and click on the edit button. As I don't have any DNS server in my network, so I will use the Kirio control for both DHCP server and DNS server. Here you can define the lease time. Click the edit button to edit the lease time. Now it is selected to 4 days, I will change it to 10 days. Click the OK button. If you want to exclude a number of IPs from this range, click the exclusion button and then click on the add button. Now specify the range of the IP which you want to exclude from DHCP server. excluded the IP address from 1 up to 50. I will be using this for my network devices and servers. Click the OK button. Click the OK button again. Now you have excluded the IP address from 1 to 50. Click the OK button to save the changes and click on the apply button to change the DHCP server configuration. Now that I have generated a manual IP scope, I have to change the IP address of the local connection and the DNS. To do so, click on the interface menu and then click on the local connection under trusted or local interface. Click on the edit button to edit this interface and change the IP address. After you have manually entered the IP address, click the OK button and then click on the Apply button. Point to be noted that your computer's IP address will be changed and you have to type in the new IP address of local connection in here to access your server. Click on the Apply button. Now Kirio Control is verifying my configuration. Now that I have changed the IP address, I have to check if the IP address of my device has changed or not. As you can see that the IP address is not changed. I have to change the IP address manually 
and log into the Kirio Control Administration panel again. If I do not log in within the 10 minutes, Kirio Control will revert the changes. Now you have to log in again to the Kirio Control Administration panel. This time you have to access the Kirio Control Administration panel with the new IP address which you have defined in the trusted interfaces. Enter the username and password. Here you can see that Kirio Control has confirmed that I was able to log into the Kirio Control Administration panel. The recent changes is saved. Click on the OK button. Now let's see the DHCP server reservation table. Click on the scope. As you can see that no client has requested for an IP address. I have assigned an IP for my computer manually. That's why it is not listed in here. Let me change my computer's IP address from manual to automatic and then I will log in again to see if my computer will be listed in the DHCP reservation or leases table or not. As you can see here that my computer is assigned an IP automatically. Now refresh the DHCP server. Here you can see that my computer is assigned an IP address of 51 because I have reserved the IP from 1 up to 50 for servers. To remove the scope, click on the remove button. The scope will be removed. To reserve a specific IP address manually, click on the add button and select add reservation. Here you can define a name for this reservation. In the lease definition, you have two options, whether you want to do this reservation with a MAC address or with a house name. I will go with the MAC address. In the reserved address, type the IP address which you want to be reserved for this specific MAC address. Click the OK button to reserve this IP. Click the Apply button to save the changes. Here you can see that a specific IP address is reserved. And you can see the icon is marked with a red R, which means that this IP address is reserved. And in the status menu, it is written reserved. To see the details of an IP address, select the device or IP address and click on the show host details button. It will show you the device, host name, its current usage and the user who is using this device. To remove a specific IP address from the leases and reservation table, select the IP address and click the remove button. The specific IP address will be removed. If you want to edit an IP address or a record in the leases or reservation table, select the record and click on the edit button. You can edit the name of the reservation, the MAC address and the IP address. After you have modified the changes, click the OK button. Here it gives me a warning that this MAC address is reserved for the IP of 10.10.10.11. .10 .10 do you still want to add this reservation? Click on the yes button. The IP address is reserved for the specific device. Click on the apply button to save the changes. And that's all for the DHCP configuration in Kirio control.
If you face any problem during the configuration, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will catch you soon with another video. Till then, have a nice time.